It's what every customer should pay attention to. But Tristan, when they come in, what are they what are they paying attention to? The price of the vehicle today. Yeah. That's what they're most concerned about. And you know what? Can't blame them for that. That's their job. Consumers don't buy cars and trucks very often. So when they do, they only know one thing to pay really close attention to, and that's the price of the vehicle they're going to buy today. However, nobody that buys a car or a truck today is going to know what the total investment is for years to come. Because the price equation is the price I pay today plus my cost to own minus the resale value, and that equals your total investment. Isn't that the big picture right there? Yes. How many customers come in and ask you to help them get the lowest total investment? Mm -hmm. No, they want the lowest price today. Help them out. Show them what it means. Show them that cost of ownership is an important variable in that equation. Let them know that what they get for that vehicle when they trade or sell it is a big part of the overall value package. Would you repeat the one more time, please? The, uh, the price, price today. Price. price today is the first part of the equation. To that, you have to add cost to own. Now, whether I buy an Explorer from you or an F-150 from you or a Mustang from you or anybody else, certain mm -hmm. costs are going to be the same. Fuel economy is going to be the same. Insurance cost is going to be the same. Maintenance is going to be the same. But what isn't the same are the dings and dents I get, the keys I lose or break, the windshield that might get cracked or, or starred, the, the fabric or the interior damage that takes place, the scratches or scuffs, and the key, uh, and, the, and the dings and dents. Okay, so that's, that's how we lower the cost of ownership there. And then if someone's paying me to fix my dings and dents, I probably will get them fixed for the first time in my life. True or false? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you right now that if I had paintless dent repair and I got a ding or dent, I'd go get the son of a gun fixed because it's not going to cost me anything. And Otherwise, it's I'm convenient. not... And it's convenient. Otherwise, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I've lost keys before. Um, I didn't replace them, but you know what? I was leasing my cars, and when I turned the vehicles in, both times I got dinged 400 bucks because I only had one key. I just bought a new Honda in March. In April, I flew to Greensboro, North Carolina, from there to Sarasota, Florida, and back to Atlanta, and I get to my car, and guess what I don't have? I don't have a key. I've lost a key fob somewhere between North Carolina and Florida. $55 Uber ride home to get my spare key. $55 Uber ride back, drive to the Honda store, $371. That's about a $500 mistake I made by not buying key replacement or not buying my vehicle from a store that would provide me key replacement. What do most people do when they lose a key? Oh, wait. See him? No. They use they take better care of their last key. <laughs> That's what they do. Yeah. They take better care of their last key. Mm -hmm. And they don't know that when they trade it, it's not worth as much. I know because I lease my vehicles, and the guy that uh, took the lease my vehicle back in and said, "Hey, where's the other key? I don't know. I lost it. Yeah. Four hundred dollars, please." Mm -hmm. Twice. So keep it new. Lowers cost of ownership. Helps increase resale value, which lowers the total investment. Look, you, the customers are getting pretty good deals. I mean, do, uh, do we have to discount our vehicles when we put them on the internet, for Eric? Yeah, damn it, I hate it, but we do. Because if we don't, phones don't ring, email inboxes don't fill up, nobody shows up. You've got a tremendous competitive advantage. But it's only a competitive advantage if you use that tool. Um, David Godina in the sales meeting on Monday talked about usage, right? Using. Using stuff. This is something that you've got that nobody else does. How many Motor Trend stores are there in the United States? 
52 total in the entire country. It's an exclusive arrangement. You know why most, there's two reasons dealers don't become Motor Trend stores. Number one, they suck and we can't fix a bad dealer. I've tried that. Can't do it. Um, dealers that don't have good ratings on Yelp and Google and Cars.com and Better Business Bureau, they can't be Motor Trend stores. But most of the reason, the number one reason a dealer isn't a Motor Trend store is they will not invest the money in their sales team. Keep it news for you, Ruben. Keep it new is to help you lease more Fords.